Before I start this video, I just want to quickly mention that I have a friend named Griffin, and he makes music on SoundCloud. His name is Griffster22. Go check him out. Link will be down below. My only criticism is that he uses a little bit too much autotune, but other than that, his music is pretty good. Dang, man. Yoshi's Island is really good. Let, let's just get into this review. So the story is, is that Baby Mario and Baby Luigi are being delivered by a stork to their parents when suddenly, Kamek. And, um, Kamek accidentally drops Mario on Yoshi. Conveniently, so that Yoshi can help Mario save his brother. Then you're thrown right into gameplay. Because of course, you know, it's it's after the story. And you quickly notice that this game's art style is actually really good. It goes for this kid's coloring book aesthetic, and man, it is really appealing to the eyes. There are also some cool effects that must have been mind-blowing to kids at that time. And it's all thanks to the Super FX chip. Oh, whoa, whoa, this is, this is trippy. This is, this is a little too much for me. So the main gimmick of this game is that you can swallow enemies and make them into eggs and use those eggs as ammunition to kill other enemies. I gotta say, that's a pretty interesting idea. I never would have thought of that myself. Speaking of enemies, when you get hit by an enemy, you gotta listen to this. Yeah, getting hit in this game is not fun at all. Cause the punishment for getting hit by an enemy is that you have to go after Mario within a time limit. Sometimes, I just wanna like, you know, have fun in these levels, but once you get hit, no, you gotta slow down and go back to Mario or else you'll lose the level. I know this is a nitpick, but it's still annoying. The bosses are actually pretty cool. They all take advantage of the egg throwing mechanic, which actually works pretty well in a boss fight. And also, the ideas behind the bosses are actually pretty cool too. They're just enemies that became stronger through Kamek's magic. I love the cutscenes after you defeat bosses. It's so adorable! Now yes, this game is really good, but it's not perfect. There are a few flaws with this game. Now, I didn't 100% this game, but if you choose to, you have to get every single item in every single level. This includes all 20 red coins, which are hidden in regular coins. Now, this wouldn't be so bad, except for the fact that what do you get for all your troubles actually finding all 20 red coins? One point. One point added to your score of the level. Only one. Also, sometimes the levels have confusing parts, like how was I supposed to know to hit this exact spike so I could progress through the level? Also, some of the vehicle power-ups that Yoshi gets could control just a tad bit better. But guys, other than those flaws, this game is an absolute classic and is a must-play for anyone who has an SNES. Now warning, it does get really hard near the end, but it is still a really fun game.